this guy on stream uh, the other day. He's a North American player, I believe. Can I read you? Yes, sir. Not enough Order for me.
I'm confused. My medics didn't make. That's like not something that usually occurs. Oh, it's this build? This is a new build that I don't even understand. Certain players are doing some weird shit nowadays. Talk about the build after. I heard about it and I've hit it once, and I, I'm not I'm not sure why they do it. Where 
Jan, thanks for those, Muddy. Iberville, thanks for the sub. Cloudbox, I'm loving GSL, great cast, thanks. Okay, so I don't even know why people are doing this. I have, like, an idea after playing that game. So see this? It's the third hatch in the main base as opposed to another base. Now, if you can identify that this is happening, I think that this build is terrible. And if you don't identify that it's happening, I think this build is good. Uh, so, generally what you're trying to do in TVZ against 2 hatch is keep pressure on. So I'm out here roaming looking for his third hatchery, because it's always at another base. But suddenly Zergs are starting to do this. So, when I'm out here, he just commits with the mutas and makes sunkens. Now, the amount of damage he did to me was huge. 
Uh, but he can't do that damage if he has another base because I just pressure that base with the Marine Medic and he has to go uh, defend. But here he doesn't have to go defend because he only has the one defense point and he makes Sunkins here. And that's his third hatch. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't think that this is a, a good strat, but it is. people are doing it right now, so I guess we'll see. Um, I just feel like if I can identify that this is the case... The thing is, there's so many bases that they can take, right? This one is likely. This one is likely. This one is a little bit less likely, but still somewhat likely. This one, this one, this one are stupid. This one is the cheese base, right? So those are... But you only have a certain amount of scans. Now, if he has that third hatch anywhere else, these mutas can't be in here doing this. Like, they come in and they do some damage. Just a little bit. But then he has to fly right out and start dealing with this. But there's nothing out here for me to find, right? He just makes three sunkens. So, yeah, this is a new thing that Zergs are doing. And, again, I'm not, like, maybe it's so they can do this, but if this is the plan behind it, it's not going to last, because eventually I'm going to figure out who's doing this, who's not, and it's like, if I sit at home with my units, suddenly this build is pretty crappy, right? Because the mutas can't do any damage at all, and I can just rush up the tech tree, and there's no economy for Zerg. So, yeah, I don't... Yeah, it's very... Like, you can't scout that hatchery. It's a wasted scan. Um. Anyways, it's... It's a new thing Zergs are doing, so I'll get used to it. And But, like, yeah, if I sit in my base that game, I'm in such good shape. No, if they make the hatchery in their main, they can't just, like... If they go to make another hatchery, then they're not really spending their money correctly, right? So, that's like, then it turns into almost playing against three hatch openers. The thing is, he took his third so late, because I could have killed it, uh, obviously, right? Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. SCP, good to go, sir. Yes, sir. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Good to go, sir. Not enough minerals. Right away, sir. Roger that. 
This strat is so fucking hard to beat. It's so hard. strategy is so difficult guys it's so fucking difficult I think I can tighten up this portion of the game a little bit. All right. I have his computers completely busy. Yeah. So here I should have started my factory before the turrets. Should have gone factory then turrets. But you can't do that until you know that he's gonna commit the mutas onto your bio. Because if he commits the mutas onto my barracks. Instead of the bio, I kill the third base, and he kills me, because I lose my barracks. So that can be a little bit tricky. There's a lot of things you have to read as Terran in this situation. My factory's late. That's for sure. I guess let's fast forward to when I actually hit my attack. Look at that. This is how abusive the build is. That he's literally going to Ultralis Cavern.
so here I have multiple vessels. I'm up a good amount in workers. I have a huge army. About to hit 2-1 pretty soon here. Plus 2 could have been a little bit quicker. right before I make the decision to attack, because I'm not sure what to do. Um, it's just, oh my god. <sighs> it's such, it's such an issue. Like, I feel like, uh, what I'll need to do is play a longer game, because you can't actually bust anything. It's, like, quite impossible to bust anything. The Sunkins just, they have too much health. They have too much armor. And as soon as you attack them, you're gonna lose if he sends his entire army at you. But part of the real difficulty of playing against this is Scourge. It's less so the Ultras. Like, I can make enough Marines to kind of fight Ultras with the help of Science Vessels. But the AI forces Marines to fire upon Ultras instead of Scourge. Hey, Kalantro. Thousand bits. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it, man. Thanks for dropping by once again. Big supporter of the stream. Uh, so... Okay, so let me let me explain this. Basically, if he attacks in, like every game that you see where it's like ultra muta into ultra against SK Terran, they'll attack in and then they'll just clone the scourge onto your vessels because it's a it's a longer fight than any other TVZ fight. Uh, normally TVZ fights, uh, you'll clear out. You can just stim and like clear out uh, lings and then, bam, you kill the scourge. Right here, they target the ultras for so long uh, that. The Scourge will always hit the vessels unless you target fire, which is incredibly difficult to do. The target fire Scourge in the middle of a battle against Ultras. Um, because if I could keep my vessels alive, it would be it would be nice to try to like irradiate over and over, roam around. That's probably what I should do. Even though it's really hard, I'm just kind of explaining why it's really really difficult to do. The build is just, it's so difficult. There's always been different types of Ultra Rushes that have been really strong. Uh, it feels like Zergs only bust them out when they feel like they're going to be dead. Like hard maps and stuff, which doesn't make sense to me because they're even more powerful on a normal map like this map. And the thing is, what they've added to this is the, the Queens with Ensnare. Because Ensnare uh, doesn't just slow movement speed, it slows marine attack rate, too. It doesn't slow attack rate of every unit in the game, but it slows marine attack rate. So it basically just takes stim away. So it's a bunch of unstimmed marines against Mass Ultra. Which is, like, how do you win that? I honestly don't know how to beat this strategy, and I haven't seen any pros beat it yet, so I'm really waiting to see. I have a few ideas. Well, with regular compositions in Snare, I mean, in Snare is good, but it's not that good. Because every other Zerg unit actually dies really quickly and you can kite. Ultras, it's not really the case. Um, Ultras take so long to kill that in Snare, like, works better against them. Like, if you ensnare my stuff and lurkers are coming, I'll spread, I'll spray down the lurkers and back up, even ensnared. But against the ultras, it's like, they just, you need your unit's stim to have any chance to kill them. No, EMP won't work. 
That's uh I see what you're saying, but that's that's like impossible. Yeah, so some people Antigua's saying about the mines, a lot of people have suggested mines. The problem is that Zerg is scaling better than Terran here. Uh so it's Terran that has to keep pressure on. Mines are the opposite of pressure. Uh mines are setting them up so your opponent will walk through them. The Zerg has no actual pressure to attack me. Right? That's why you see, like, mines with mech, or if someone's rushing to defilers real quick to try to do a quick push on low economy, mines can be great, because the Zerg has the pressure on them to do damage to you. But here, there's no pressure on him. So if I go mines, he doesn't need to attack into it. Maybe a bad Zerg would, but there's no point. He just doesn't have to do it. He can just, like, go up to defiler at that point, and I'm just gonna die. So mines are not the answer. Uh, wraiths are not the answer. It's too expensive. They take too long to build. They do nothing against ultras. The thing is, it's not just the queens that are making this build strong. This build existed without the queens last year, and I could barely—I barely started beating it. So now it's got queens involved, and it's like twice as hard to kill. <laughs> without the queens, I'm like, well, without the queens, this force can actually kill the ultras because I'm keeping my plus attack upgrades uh, on par. But with the queens there, there's no stem, right? Well, yeah, it's just—it's crazy. This is really tough. Yeah, if day nine's there, I'd love to hear your thoughts about it, Sean. I don't know if you're still there, but... It's such a new tech. And I'm sure that someone's gonna figure it out. Like, Flash probably already knows what to do. But I haven't heard what that is, so I'm losing every single game against this on the ladder. Now, Restoration is not AoE. Single target. What's his face, 88? Thanks for the sub. Yeah, so... I don't know. I don't know how you're supposed to do it. I've sent a message to a pro friend. See if we can get it figured out. See if anyone knows. Anyone bringing up oof strategies, that doesn't make sense because he didn't play in the modern era. This is a modern build. Whatever people did back then don't work. No, Goliath build is good against uh, Judas. Goliath build is good against everything. It's a good build. But if you do Goliath build, they don't do this build, obviously, right? This is a build that you choose to do. This is a strategy you choose to do once you see that it's a uh, bio. Someone suggesting using buildings like depots. It's like a reasonable thought. This has an okay amount of buildable terrain out here. It doesn't have as much. Yeah, like buildings can block ultras and screw them up. There's no question about that. That's not a realistic way to go kill your opponent, right? How do I use depots to break this? How do I use depots to stop him from sitting on his three base, right? I need to kill something. I need to threaten him so hard that he's trading ultras into me. Because if he continues to build the Ultra Force and then is able to get into Defilers, the game will end. Ultra Defiler, if they get Ultra Defiler together uh, in this type of situation, you're going to be done. Someone's saying heavy medics and teammate shirts, yeah? That's a, that's a reasonable thing. That's reasonable. Satchel -y. Sachel Ninja, thanks for your sub. No, there's no real timing before Mass Ultras. Let me show you. Okay. So, just start his ultras. 
yeah, all the upgrades are coming up. Uh, here I only have plus one. He has 11, well, he had 11 mutas dog in me. I think he makes a couple more, I'm not sure. Can't remember. But look, the here's here's why this strat is so tough. Another part of why it's so tough, right? He's got these mutas threatening me. So I did have to make lots of turrets, right? See? I have a, I have a good amount of turrets. I have five covering this area. That's actually kind of needed, especially in these positions. Because it's easy for them to hit the, excuse me, in the main. Because the mutas fly directly back out in this direction uh, to defend. So this is important. Obviously, you need some at the natural. And obviously, you need a couple at the barracks to make sure you can get your rallies out, right? So... I'm teching up quickly, getting into additional upgrades. Now, could there be an all-in before this? I don't think so. Because they can just make enough sunkens that it shouldn't be able to work. You, like, uh... They're, they're whittling down, so you need a critical mass of Marine Medic to even be able to do anything against the Mutas, right? Because once they have 11 Mutas, you need more than a group of Marines to fight that. You need about, like, two groups will basically hold on and you have to keep reinforcing that. Uh, I mean, people might suggest something like siege tanks. Um, siege tanks are a little bit slow against this. If they see them coming, first off, the mutas can dive and take them out because your entire strategy is based on the siege tanks. So once the ultras are out, they'll win if you didn't kill them with the siege tank push. Siege tanks are, like, unupgraded siege tanks in small numbers against this build are terrible. They're really bad. They don't do anything. Um... What else? What else? I've tried BC builds against this. I was trying that last year a lot. I did a lot of trying with that. It doesn't quite work. To use BCs with your bio. Because BCs have high uh, single target damage, so they don't care about Ultralisk armor so much. Yes, that's right. If you go mech, this build never comes up, right? So this is like, I can go mech. I know how to play mech. I'm pretty good at mech against Zerg. Uh, but just because a hard strategy rises doesn't mean I should just stop playing my strongest style against Zerg. It's better to figure out how to beat it. But beating it's so difficult. Because, yeah, again, there's like no real timing here, right? Sunken's on the high ground going up these shitty ramps. Then you can flank from this side and this side and the mutas hitting here, right? So that's very hard to kill. There's enough sunks, you don't really have time to get the tank pushed through. I'm really not sure what to do, man. It's tough. Drops are not it, because he has a big group of mutas, right? These mutas will, like I said, once they get 11 mutas, how many groups of marines do you need for that? You really need, like, two groups. So how many dropships is that? And what if any of them get sniped? And the thing is, what am I doing? I'm dropping them up here. He can use ensnare. He can catch them. It's the... And they come slow, too. Getting that many dropships out? Dude, dropships take 32 seconds with an add-on on a starport. That's a long time. To get four out. I'd have to go double starport. Which means that if I'm going double starport quickly enough to get dropships to drop before the ultras are ready, that means I'm going to be doing it off two barracks or three barracks maximum. Yeah, that's not... The dropships are not going to work. It feels like, um... Really good macro. Really good army movement. Keeping pressure on just little edges are going to have to accumulate is what it feels like. Like, forcing them to get the sunkens a little bit earlier. Picking off more mutas, forcing a few more mutas, right? Making them get sunkens in both locations. Making sure that your upgrades are really on time. Making sure that you have a radiate right away and that you hit your radiates and somehow keep vessels alive. It feels like that's going to be how to do it, which is, like, really difficult to do, especially compared to what Zerg is doing. Because all Zerg is doing is harassing and making sure they have sunkens. That's it, right? So they're basically looking at how much you have, saying, okay, how many sunkens do I need to deal with this? And just harassing the, the bio force, keeping it at bay as much as possible with the mutas, and just having enough. So it's, yeah, it's it's one of these strategies that is uh, very easy to do on one side and incredibly hard on the other side. Yeah, basically play like Flash. I don't, I don't know. I'd love to see Flash play against this a few games. The thing is, this is part of the reason why Flash does a lot of tech builds 
in Terran Berserk. Uh, he even, Jinjin translated him uh, talking about it with action a little bit, about how playing against good Zergs, it's so hard because you can just die. Uh, things can just go wrong for like one second and you're done. And uh, how how strong the Zerg units are and stuff, like he, he was saying that, right? And so you see him use a lot of teched out builds, like Valkyrie builds, one-on-ones, mech builds. Uh, he, he rotates through a lot, so it's very hard to play against him. But the thing is, for just laddering, it's like, well, I mean, I can rotate on the ladder, but it doesn't matter because I'm not playing the same person more than once or twice. Um, yeah, and then you see someone like Light, right, who just does brute force play. And when Soma did the strategy against him, Soma just wrecked him. It wasn't even close. Zealous with the gifted sub. Thank you so much. Always green with the sub as well. Thanks. Yeah, so those are... These are my thoughts so far on this build. And this is the one time I'll listen to what chat scientists have to say. Because I'm up for any ideas. Because, like, I basically have already said what I think. That I'm just going to have to nail everything. And, like, keep pressure on and hit some radiates and, like, just play a very hard game and grind it out. Where it'll be the type of situation where, like, I have to try, like, my best play might get me a third base up. And I'll probably just barely not die and just think to myself that someone 10 MMR higher than my opponent will kill me. Because <laughs> I players weaker than me are going to be able to beat me with the strategy really easily. Uh compared to other strats. Like, strats where you have to be more active are a lot easier to play against. Where they have to do things like throw Dark Swarms down and, and run Lurkers around and fight with Lings and Mutas. This is, again, literally only Mutas while making sure you have enough Sunkins and just clicking armor upgrades. It is an incredibly easy to do strategy. Incredibly easy. Now, this build works on every map. Just to make that clear. But probably the worst map for it would be Circuit Breakers. Yeah, someone's saying 3S, 3 Starport BC. I, actually, I was doing that last year when this, this build appeared last year, but without the Queens. And uh, I did do BC builds against it for a while. It's, the BC builds just don't work. It, it just barely, they're not quite... Because the BC builds are much slower. And if they if they just keep going Ultra Ling against it, then yeah, you, you win. But if they see that you're going BCs, all they need to do is go Defiler. Because now you don't have any way to deal with Defiler, Dark Swarm, or Plague. The Vessels are the only way to deal with those. Volks perfect vessels no 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 volks don't kill scourge quickly and if you go volks it's uh very specifically to like get out and hit your opponent earlier like a valkyrie going into valkyrie and trying to do a sunken bust or something could be could be reasonable like a one one two valkyrie sunken bust maybe it might be a little bit all in though, because you're plus you're gonna have to cut plus two's speed because you can't go Valkyries and Science Facility and another upgrade while getting as many Marines as possible to bust the Sunkins. So like that might be an okay all in uh, against it. Pawn TV, thanks for the sub. Yeah, so this is a tough one. This is a tough one. I don't know how I'm gonna solve this one. I messaged Scan. I hope he has something for me. <laughs> no, the, I know that it seems the Zerg is a little all-in with so few drones, but they're really not, because what they're doing is they're scaling super fast. They're like, they're hitting the early game, they're getting mutas, right? And then they're jumping to endgame, basically, or right before endgame. The ultimate endgame would be Defilers as well. But they get so many Carapace upgrades. Like, once you have uh, plus four Ultras... I guess you're rushing to, to, to plus three first and then plus four, but um, yeah, you're basically, you're already getting what you want, right? 
very tough build. 